Hey guys, what's up? It's Greggles here from the Greggles and Dan Show on YouTube. I'm going to go through some more odds and ends and questions that have arised with the uh, uh, Asus uh, Zenpa uh, Zenpad 8S over the last uh, day or two uh, with questions in terms of uh, storage and you know, I'm going to put a benchmark video on this. So let's do the uh, storage first. So someone asked me if are you able to, uh, what, what's the available storage and also um, can you put apps on the SD card slot? So I will answer that. So let's check out the available storage so far. Go into settings, choose storage. And there is 20.22 gigabytes of storage remaining right now. So it's, they give you 32 gigabytes and then there's a total of 24 gigabytes that you get to play with. So you get the system, it says it takes about, system reserved is 7.54 gigabytes. So it leaves you a lot of space for uh, storage and things like that. Another question that arised was, can you use uh, the SD card slot to put the app? So let's take a step back go into apps and I already put a 64 gig SD card in this it can take up to 128 gig so let's say for instance we want to do I want to move the um, let's make kind of a small app just so now let's say I want to move over uh, Netflix I'm gonna choose Netflix and right here move to SD card I'm gonna click that this process may take a while. Please don't shut down your device, blah, blah, blah. Please don't remove the external storage. Do you want to proceed? I'm gonna hit okay. And let it think right here for a moment. It's processing. So obviously it moves it over there. And then once this moves it over there, I will show you. So now it says move to device storage, meaning that is on the SD card. Hit the home button here. And then I will open up Netflix just to show you it still works. As you can see, it is loaded perfectly fine. I'll just play episode of House of Cards real quick. Loading, loading, loading. Fast forward just a smidge. And you see, it looks a little dark, but it does play fine. So this definitely works fine. Very cool. And another one, I'd like to show you the uh, benchmarks on this. So I will open up in Tutu. Benchmark. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, there is a camera on the in the front too. I didn't mention that in the review, uh, but there is a camera in the front, so you can do webcam stuff. Uh, so last test I got was thirty-two thousand four hundred. Let's run it again. Actually, you know what? You close all the apps first. All right, it's the only app open, and let's do test again. So it doesn't have the highest test marks, but it's doable.
There you guys go. You can see the, uh, well, if you can't see it, whatever, I'll read it to you. It's kind of small, but basically it's not the highest performer. The highest performer on here is uh, the Mitsu. Um, does it go up if I turn it? Yeah, it does. So, let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see it. But basically, uh, the Mitsu is the highest performer. Uh, this tablet performs on the same uh, level, as you can see it in blue right there, as an LG G3. Uh, LG G3 performs a little bit better. Uh, the original H HTC One uh, it performs better than that. So it's in between an LG G3 and an HTC One. Again, you don't really got a score of um, where is the score details? Thirty-two thousand three hundred and eight. But it's snappy. It's kind of like a Nexus device in the terms of its snappiness. I have a a uh, Galaxy tablet and. Uh, Galaxy uh, Tab S 10.5 and that definitely has lag in it. I haven't really noticed that kind of lag with this one. So this is impressive, especially for 200 bucks. So if you guys like to see more videos on this, let me know. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for watching.